Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with uh, the part fourth, if I'm not wrong, on the uh, part four on the painting uh, of this miniature. Uh, in the first part, I did the base colors. Second part, I did the legs and the stabbard. And in the third part, I did the inside of the cape. Okay, I'm keep. I will keep focusing on on this on the legs and to be able to put them together as soon as possible to paint the rest but before putting them together I'm going to paint the gold parts and I will explain here how I do the gold and the gold is going to be very similar in all the places so let's do the gold part and I will also do the runes so I will do all these golden parts I can keep the, the sand clock or the glass clock for later and also some other details so let's start working on the on the Gold, I will start with retributor armor and we need to clean up the, the washers that we did before, especially on the scales, on the scales, on this scale on, on these things that are like scales, I wanted a clean job. So I will start applying this to make the runes really clean and also this part here is too dirt. So I will apply a little bit on, on this part here. Uh, to make it um, to make this cleaner, I don't want this to do, look rusted or super dirt. I want to look to look quite more clean gold. And now you see this will give a nice shadow. Again, uh, here are the scales. I want to make them sharp and clean as well. Keeping, of course, the dark part, um, the separation with this dark color. Okay, so we'll go first. Just this first part. Uh, this part is is a I call it a cleanup to make. Uh, I think if you go for mm, the clean finishing after applying a wash, you always need to do some cleanups of the wash. Okay, and here and I'm going to do this. When you do this type of things, go with the brush almost flat. You can see sideways and use the flat part of the side. Don't need to go with the tip. Let always try to use the sculpt in your favor to help your work. Okay. It's time that it's possible try to use the sculpt to help yourself. Okay, first step on the gold is done. Now let's start using Auric Armor Gold. And I will at the same time prepare a little bit of very um, light metallic. Speed metal from a scale 75. Okay, is very light metal, but a little bit. Okay, because I will mix this with the auric armor gold to make some of the scales and to make some of the sharper parts. So let's start with auric armor gold. I will apply here. We'll take a little bit of, of the metallic from the scale 75. I will do here. Auric Armor Gold. We'll do the tails. I will realize that I forgot this part here, so I will clean it up first. Okay, Auric Armor Gold. Then a little bit of this metal. 
Italian here in the corners. If it's you don't want the the silver to be too visible, so use the auric armor wall to mix it. Okay. Let's go to the scales. thing now I take the silver color and then do and do also touch here. going to take also again here the silver and we are going to touch the bottom of this scale now with our armor we touch this this here we just touch the bottom so we take to touch just the bottom where is the peak of the scale And yeah, I was forgetting this is more linings here. We're going to do this type of box. I emphasize the corner with the auric armor gold and I will do something like that then here on the sides touches, small touches yeah. on the top we are going to follow the edge a little bit of the scale Okay. This should be enough on the gold. I think it will apply a little bit more in some of the scales. I think it's good enough. Now we can work a little bit on, on the runes that we did on the blue. So I will take white. And this work can take a little bit of time because we, we will need some precision. I think we are going to do, I'm going to, to do it in the other way around. So let's take bad brush, this is a bad old brush.
We are going to do like a dry brush on top of the roots. Okay. And you will need to repeat it several times because the white, the beginning will look dirt like this one. These runes don't have a lot of Here. Here we can do with a steam brush and just do it on top of the room. We can use this the same brush. And because the white is quite transparent, it's still looking bluish. So this is what you want to do. Okay. I will also highlight, I will know that I'm here when doing that. I will also do the binding. I will not do always there on the lining, I will just make try to make it I say lining but it is a it is it's the symbol of sigma is a two tail comet okay I go back to these drones here and now what I'm going to do very gently, I will apply a wash. I will apply a wash using how to cast with a lot of medium. So I will take some how to cast because it's quite thick. It's quite an old paint though. Okay. And I will take Lamia medium. This is the varnish. Here on camera to show it. So I will take Lamia medium and I will put I will check the texture. Okay, looks like correct. I'm going to apply very, very, very little on the roots. And I will emphasize, I will put a little bit more on the bottom. is helping to see the runes even more. We'll do the same here on the box. This also will I will glaze down so okay. Now that I have this done I will apply this also on the cloud glass.
okay this guy will look like and I think I will finish here I will I'll wait until this the blue dries I think it's dry now we'll have dried we'll take white again And I will work a little bit on the roots to make them even sharper. Wait a little bit to let them dry. In the meantime, that it is drying, I will apply the wash activate on. It's too much on the lining here. You see, it was too much. I'll take white. I'm going to play a little bit more of wash on the rose. And I think this will be good enough. Yeah, I think I will leave it here. So I think the, the gold and this parts no one looking good. So I will do now the brown to finalize this part. So I will take um, not this one. I will take a scrap brown. I will do the edges. So here, this part. This.
I hear at the back I will not do more because th this, to be fair, it's covered by the cape, so it makes no sense to, to do more in the back. Uh, the legs only this one side. Maybe I'm testing to do the folds of the. Yes. To be fair, here you don't need to invest a lot of time. Because this part is going to be later and covered by the cape. Okay. I will take as a final touch, I will also take this one because I want to do so. I will use no Tau Light Aqua to do the last layer of highlights. in the front Okay, and I think the legs, the only thing missing is this, the sand clock, and I think I will do it now as well, to finalize with this, with the legs work. So I will take, I'm taking no Dumble Brown, I will apply the Dumble Brown here at the bottom. Same at the back. I 
and I will take now more fine brown, sorry, spike brown. And we are going to put here on top. I will put a little bit here. white we'll put a little bit ochre Okay. No white. I'm going to do first is I'm going to put really deep blue. I'm going to take a very deep blue. smaller now with Mahra blue sorry Here. And now I'm going to use white. to do also some reflections on the by the design. Yes, make it some bluish blue on top. To show that this is inside of the glass. Okay. Here 
the rug. Can be enough for making the bright point. So this is how it's looking like, and I think here I will finalize this fourth part of the tutorial. I think the legs are ready to be assembled, um, just waiting for some final touches at the end. I'm just adding some more whiteness on there. So this is ready to, to be assembled, not with the cape, but before assembling the cape I want to be sure that I can paint the lamp, so especially because of the back, so I will paint the lamp and after painting the lamp I will glue the cape and the top part on the miniature. You can see when it's assembled the legs will not help me to paint the lamp correctly. So this one is looking like at this moment, uh, quite a nice progress. And yeah, keep tuned for the fifth part where I'm going to do now the lantern. A lot of things lantern are used here, so I will not repeat them most likely. But uh, yeah, quite happy with the progress so far. Uh, yeah, leave your opinion below. Let me know what do you think. Uh, how do you see this painting work? Uh, and yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye.